Hey guys, it's Sarah Ayler here from Softlex Company. I'm actually at the Beads of Courage headquarters. They're about to unveil a really neat installation using Softlex beading wire. So I'm gonna head on in and show you guys what's going on. So hang in there with me as I flip around. And in just three weeks, the community folded 1,512 origami cranes. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> but staying true to the wish for all the children, for the hope that there is a cure for cancer, and that these children overcome all of that, we have hung 1,000 cranes tonight. And the other ones we are asking you to take home. And in doing that, you can also pass them on and spread this love. All of them were folded with love and intention of kindness and hope. So we want you to continue to pass that into our community and pass that kindness on. And I'm just so grateful that Feeds of Courage asked us to do that. Thank you, Coppelia. So um, I'm Jean of Courage, and I want to say that it's a great honor to welcome you all tonight to the unveiling of a thousand origami cranes. I want you to know that this is the second art installation that Beats of Courage has had the honor of being a part of and honor the life and legacy of Kelsey Gloria. The first Kelsey-inspired art exhibit is at the Children's Museum of Tucson that is also part of the Tucson Butterfly Trail. Has anyone seen it? It's amazing. Um, there you will find 418 beads of courage integrated into the exhibit. I'm grateful to know and to love the Luria family. I'm grateful to work closely with Coppelia, Kelsey's on, to create this beautiful art exhibit in honor of her niece, my two and my aunt. Um, these beautiful cranes will grace our headquarters with courage, humor, and grace, just like Queen Bee would want them to do. Japanese legend holds that people with the patience and commitment to complete 1,000 origami cranes will be granted a wish. Our closely held wish is for a cure for pediatric cancer and for continued strength and courage for children and teens currently in treatment. Tonight is a special night as we will unveil the 1,000 origami cranes art exhibit, a week after what would have been Kelsey's 20th birthday. It is customary for us, all of us, to light make a wish, and blow out a candle on a birthday. So we invite each of you to please get a candle. They're on the tables behind you. We would like you all to light it. So there's a lighter. So please have a candle and light it and stand before us. As you're, as you're preparing your candle and lighting your candle, as we proceed to take delight in the reveal of the thousand origami cranes for candle. I'd like to share with the Luria family written words from Rabbi Stephanie Aaron, who regretfully is unable to be here with us tonight as she travels to Poland and Israel, leading a delegation of youth to the March of the Living, which includes Kelsey's brother, Max. Rabbi Aaron is a beautiful writer, and as part of his dedication, shares the story of Sadako in memory of Kelsey. It is a beautiful, interwoven story of courage, honor, and grace. I have a copy of her written words for both Maya and Michael. She's um, incredible with her words, and I would not be able to read this three-page beautiful story. So I'm going to provide you both with a copy. But Rabbi Aaron concludes with this. We remember and honor Kelsey today with all of our heart, with all of our love, with all of our strength, and all of our courage. So thank you for being here tonight. And Coppelia will join me in unveiling the thousand origami cranes. And at that moment, I hope that you all are holding a wish. 
and you can blow out your candle. Are you ready? Ready? One, two, three. They are really, really pretty. <laughs> bracelet kits that we made in honor of Kelsey and please take one as a gift tonight as well as one of our origami crane beads so enjoy and we're going to bring out the queen bee um, ice cream if you haven't had it for a super sweet treat tonight yay ice cream <laughs> hi <laughs> around you've been um, hanging out with here I've been hanging out with Kristen oh let me flip back hanging out with Kristen I actually have my littlest or bigger of my littles here with me so she's keeping me busy um, but I hope that you got to see this beautiful art installation that Softlex helped with I'm gonna flip around the camera again and get a little closer so you can actually see how beautiful this is. These are all paper cranes, and then they're strung with Softlex beading wire. And this is a nice installation here at Beads of Courage in Tucson. Um, really colorful and beautiful, and a beautiful legacy for uh, what sounds like a beautiful girl um, who had a battle with cancer. Um, so one of the Wonderful things about Beads of Courage, if you're not familiar with them already, is they help children um, that have serious illnesses by offering art therapy. And they do that by giving beads that hit milestones um, as they're going through the process. And it's all over the world, lots of different places. If you want to help out, you can visit their website, you can make donations, but you can also buy products, and that's a good way to help them too. Um, so it's just been a lovely experience to get to be down here and enjoy our time. Um, here, I'm going to show you. This is my um, this is my little girl here, I'm Kristen, and we're all looking up at this beautiful exhibit. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and do stop by their website, which is I believe beadsofcourage.org. So I'll talk to all of you guys later. I am doing a live video tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. It's a design challenge with shipwreck beats. So I hope to see all of you guys then. Um, but for now, thanks for stopping in. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Diana. It's nice to see all of you here. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing this beautiful art installation here at Beads of Courage. See you all tomorrow. Bye.